Hey guys, it's Brandy and Chloe Productions here, and sorry if you hear squeaking, that's my chair. Oops, I'm sitting in my chair and it's very old and it's squeaky as heck. But this is my new custom. That's not all I have to show you. I have like a triple or double laney of like a lot, I should say. And I'm very excited because I've just gotten something from Walmart. And that's all I'm going to tell you, even though I'm going to review it. So this is Chloe from a Mala Pony cat. And this is a dog. I have no idea what to call him. So go ahead and put in the comments down below. And I need to get the guy, not guy, but the pony that came with him. And that was just Applejack action figure. Wait, oops. It uh, intends to do that a lot. It does this. So, I find that very cool. And I find these holes ones awesome. Because, oops. Because you can do whatever you want with them. But here's the thing. Just a little... Don't be alarmed by this. But the hook doesn't, like, bend at the knee. It, like, swivels. Like, at the hip or something. But... It's cool nonetheless. I mean, I kind of expect that since it's a quote-unquote action figure. And also, this is a little hint, nudge nudge thing to my, like in my later videos. But I've gotten some cool dinosaur figures from Hobby Lobby. And these are awesome. I mean, to some people they may think that the paint job is kind of like poop. But... I find it cool nonetheless, and these are hard as heck, so they won't break easily. And that's not the only one, because these were 11 bucks in a pack, so. And I also got Pterodactyl, or I have no idea. I think it's a Pterodactyl, correct me if I'm wrong, that's holding a fish in its mouth. A T-Rex, which is huge as heck. I know, a T-Rex that looks a lot like an Allosaurus to me. And one that I'll, um, I have no idea what to do with, because I'm kind of annoyed, and if you, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember my Uncle Soros, go subscribe to him, shout out, from, um, and it makes a lot of dinosaur videos, and I remember this was one of the Baryonyxes, I think, I have no clue, but it's this one, correct me, bleh, correct me if I'm wrong, if... This one is in the series, because I haven't got up to date with my dinosaur stuff, because I'm more into Hint Hint Nudge Nudge Fighting the Freddy's, especially in the third one. And it's holding a fish, and it kind of annoys me, but um, I kind of like it, and I kind of don't like it. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, so. But, but I got a cool thing nonetheless, and... I gotta move these guys. And this just came in the mail. So I'm going to chumble over my words. That's what I do a lot. So I've just gotten this brand new Miss Coco Plumel action figure. And I think the knees right here can bend. I'm not too sure. So I'll pause this video and I'll see you after the box is opened. Alright, so this is what I got so far. I'm not finished opening her up yet. Miss Coco Pumel. But this is a really good backdrop. I'm not sure if I should use this in my videos though. Ah, stupid squeaky chair. But this is very nice. I like the I like this. This is really cool. Forgot to mention on the back. What's kind of weird and kind of like misleading is that the kingdom mark is on the other side and she's positioned on this side. And, oops, there's no key mark, which is still disappointing because I hate when ponies don't have both key marks. I'm like, because I jokingly refer to the ponies having, or phonies, I should say. I jokingly say that it's one or the other, either have both key marks or have none, which that's what I'm going to do, so... In later videos, don't freak out if if she has no cue mark because I don't know why, but I just like to erase ponies' cue marks. And don't worry, 
I will get the bigger version of Coco Pluel. Put in the comments below if it's rare or not, because maybe I won't actually take off the keyboard. It's just that this really bugs me a lot. Anyway, just want to mention that. So, yeah, I'll get her fully out of the box now. So here is Miss Coco Plumel out of her box. And as you can see, her hair is just crazy as you can see. So, so yeah. And now, now I find this really cool and that is, I thought this was just hard plastic, but no, the dress is rubber. Saddle bag. I was gonna say satchel. And it's plastic, it's not rubber, so. And it fits over her little hips. And hang on. And. Fits on her hips as so. Now, just a little FYI here, I do not have a Rainbow Dash or a Twilight Sparkle Out figure like this. So I have watched Prince Tobin with a lot of another shout out to, um, and that is that these saddlebag things, and I think the dress as well, I'm not sure, won't fit wings on me. Just a little FYI here. So I can make weird poses like this, like that, and she sits down. Cool, right? You still have that old fashioned head movement. So yeah, you might see this one a lot in my videos. Just a little FYI right here. Now I want to do a little conspiracy, and that is she can hold my custom curly. Sorry if I need Conspiracy. That is, if she will work with my car, because don't be alarmed by this, but the holes are, I'm saying holes with um, an S or more than one pronunciation, because there's more than one hole, and this is not the front of the pony. That is the back leg, so I want to see if it can still work. I'm thinking why, because there's this Pinkie Pie swan boat thingy. And I think that's why I like to And, yeah, this doesn't bother me, especially since the screw is like almost the exact same color, but it's kind of. If you see a weird belly button shaped thing, that is the screw that is in here. Not that noticeable because it's on the stomach or chest area. Speaking about screws, Hasbro, stop putting screws on Jurassic World dinosaurs. Just, just wanted to throw that out because I'm getting sick of it. Now, thanks for this conspiracy. Let's 
see if we can do the sitting down position with the with one hook on the steering wheel. Let's see if she can do that. Sorry if I'm like doing this off camera. Hey. Cool, now you can put the hoof, I'll just change it into a small pad, on the actual steering wheel, instead of just twice sparkle, like, here is the, now here is a normal pony, I'm using one of these in my life, here is a pony, normal, she's like a smidgen bigger, I don't know, See these um now that they have the now that Hasbro has posable figures these are these are really good these are actually really good figures and they're perfect for me for these like human stuff as you can see this is really good you can see that. So she's doing her own yoga. Sorry if it's very loud. And she's not falling off. Ow. <laughs> that was the wall, not her. But yeah, she's really getting the sitting down position, not much of standing up. So yeah, she does work with the other model of me products, I should say. And overall, I think this is a very good touch for the Mahoney universe. Especially for the fact that this is called Explore Pressure. <laughs> and yes, the, now I know why they put the sticker on there. Hoses do need, some hoses do need hand support. Guys, that was the Mile of Honey, Friendship is Magic, Miss Coco Plumel, or just Miss Plumel as it says on the box, Runway Show, and that's her in her other clothing. So, and for stars, I will give this five and a half stars out of five. This is a really good addition. Now, my only complaint is that the Really swivel, but that's what I kind of expect. But if you have the hook like backwards, it's like broken. So that's the only. It's kind of funny, and yet it might do. It might like worsen the. Um, I don't know what to say, but you know what I mean. It might like make some difficulties standing the pony up. Same thing goes with the others.